Hi everybody, Space Junkie here, hope you're all keeping well. Just want to do a quick shout out to all the new YouTube members that have taken the time to support the channel. Thank you guys, your support means so, so much to me. It really is very much appreciated, so thank you guys. So what of today's video, uh, I'm looking at the new starters. So guys, if you're looking to get into Star Citizen, I've put together obviously the three vehicles at the minute that obviously you can buy for the same price point the cutter as you can see with 25% off then we've got the Mustang Alpha make sure when you're looking to make a purchase it does say starter pack so make sure that is obviously in the description of the actual ship pack you're looking to purchase then obviously we're going to move on to the Aurora now I love this little ship but with the price point of the cutter at the minute there is only one vehicle that you should be looking at I've put together a little video for you I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in a sec. Hi guys. This has to be at the minute the ship of choice. With 20% off. Now I don't like encouraging people to spend money. But if you are looking to get yourself into Star Citizen. You will not be disappointed with this ship. The Drake Cutter is absolutely phenomenal. And it will open itself up to so much more gameplay. Loops and everything like that when you're first starting out in the game and it's a ship that you're just going to love just getting in and out of it it's going to put a smile on your face every time you use it it's got the drake clunkiness and all that sort of stuff the noise and everything that goes with drake it's just a great ship i've been using it now for a good few days just trying to get used to it before i did a ship review on it i just love it it is absolutely fantastic i mean listen to this it's got the veto engines on the side just for a touch of a button it will help you for your quick takeoffs that you're going to need hovering one criticism i may have of it is this little light at the front while it looks a bit bright when we scroll to the front of it just like so unfortunately when you are heading to a planet surface it really isn't bright guys so one word of warning if the drake cutter is going to be your ship of choice which i personally think you should do and should go for just be careful because that ground will loom up on you a lot quicker than you expect it to because unfortunately it just does not illuminate the ground quick enough but guys let me get out of this seat i'm going to talk you around it show you what it can do inside you won't be disappointed as i say it's got so much character but let me get out of the seat and let me show you around the ship itself Okay guys, here we are outside the uh, Drake Cutter. So while we've obviously mentioned about the light, one thing to consider is obviously the repeaters at the front. They're not the strongest, but it is more than enough to get you through your basic certification when it comes to obviously ship to ship bounties. It does carry obviously four missiles as well. But the biggest thing is it's all the other gameplay loops it's gonna open itself up to for you. So in the back here it's big enough to accommodate vehicles it will also accommodate the rock mining vehicle so again another different gameplay loop you can get yourself into it's got four scu of cargo space without this box here this is a size three container so again it's something you can put in the back of the ship just to give you an idea of obviously the amount of space you've got in the back you would use this container for obviously looting bunkers and that sort of stuff chucking armor in weapons ammo and all that sort of stuff it's just so much space in the back here. Let's shut our door. The hull HP on the ship isn't bad, so it's going to get you out of a few scrapes. Ship components, all this down here, not an integral part of the obviously gameplay at the moment, but I'm sure it won't be long before the start. Obviously, when we take damage, we might lose uh, quantum drives. You might have to swap things out, but that's not part of the gameplay at the moment. Going through to our living quarters, one thing that you will love as a new player is having the facility to be able to log in and out using the ship bed and that is something that's i would say critical when you first start playing the game so you don't have to worry about constantly going back to stations or your home planets Thank you. so you can log in and out toilet facility push the button takes your toilet in and out <laughs> you can lock yourself in as well if you want a bit of privacy in your toilet going forward we've got our locker plenty of ship storage so obviously if you're running bunkers and that sort of stuff, you can chuck all the ammo, weapons and armor in there as well. Going through to the actual cockpit, on the right hand side, 
gun rack for one vehicle. Two pistols you can put in there as well. Let's get ourselves up into the pilot seat. One of the best things about the ship is the current stock quantum drive and the fuel it's going to use when you first start in the game is so minimal it's going to, it's going to cost you next to nothing to run this ship. So quantum tank and the quantum fuel and that sort of stuff it's going to be very negligible when it comes to running costs. What you've got also, you've got loads of obviously little buttons and switches all around your MFDs. One thing you do have, if we push that button here, it retra retracts and deploys these little side windows on both sides. Now I'm led to believe this will actually help with the hull HP as well. So if you are uh, under fire and that sort of stuff and you've got them closed, it will obviously benefit you a little bit. Just down here, something I like is you can open the exterior just at a touch of a button. As you can see, all nice and easily to hand. It's just, I, I just don't think you can go wrong, guys. I think you're going to be so happy if you go for this ship. I'm just going to turn it back off. I'm just going to make my way up. There we go. So, guys, I really hope this guide has been helpful to you. I'd love to see more of you in the verse, obviously using uh, Drake Cutters, because I just think it's just a phenomenal ship for the obviously price point it is. Now, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to obviously leave a like. If you think I deserve it, maybe think about subscribing to the channel. If you run a Drake Cutter or disagree with anything I've said actually regarding the ship and you don't think it's the best starter ship, I'd love to let, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. But guys, thank you once again. Thank you for being part of obviously uh, the journey here. And I look forward to seeing you all in the verse. You take care and bye-bye for now.